Let's ultrasound on today's topic, general ultrasound, and how to sweep through an organ. So first of all, we have to start with the most obvious, and that is what is sweeping? Sweeping is the most important job that a sonographer does. We're not just picture takers. Our job is to be the eyes and the ears of the radiologist, to carefully evaluate things so that we're not missing anything. Sweeping is the process of moving from one end of an organ all the way through the other end of the organ and carefully evaluating that organ for any masses or disease along the way. Let's talk about the sweeping rules. You should always sweep in two transducer orientations. You want to sweep before you take any images, and it's important to follow the lie of the organ itself, which may be slightly oblique to the true transducer plane. And you want to start all the way outside the edge of the organ, and this is either the medial, lateral, superior, inferior, anterior, or posterior edge, and then move to the middle of the organ, and last sweep all the way out through the other side of the organ until you're completely past the organ. And it's really important to move all the way outside the borders of the organ. You wanna ensure there's no masses hanging off the outer borders of the organ. A sagittal sweep is performed side to side in the body. The sagittal plane splits the body into right and left slices. So a sagittal sweep is conducted laterally and medially in the body. A transverse sweep is conducted up and down, superiorly and inferiorly, and a transverse sweep splits the body into superior and inferior sections. A coronal sweep splits the body into anterior and posterior slices, and a coronal sweep is conducted front to back, anteriorly and posteriorly. The easiest way to describe slices through the body and sagittal and transverse and coronal sweeps are with a loaf of bread. First, let's talk about sagittal sweeps. This is taking sagittal slices through the loaf of bread. And for demonstration purposes, we're gonna say that this loaf of bread is located in the right lateral side of the body and it's lying in a vertical plane in the body. The black slice is the midline sagittal slice. Note that this slice that is cutting through the loaf of bread with the longest and the widest diameter. So this slice of information contains more information than the others and it's larger. The red slice is a lateral sagittal slice. This slice is cutting through a section of the bread that has less girth to it. So the slice has less information or bulk to it and it's slimmer in size. The blue slice is a medial sagittal slice, and the same as the lateral slice, there's just less bulk to this side of the loaf of bread. So this slice is going to be smaller and contain less information than the midline slice, as it's near the edge of the loaf of the bread. Now let's talk about sagittal sweeps in relation to an actual organ, and we're using the right kidney as our guide. The kidneys lie vertically in the body. These are sagittal slices through the right kidney. And note that this is sagittal to the kidney itself, not a true sagittal plane in the body necessarily, because kidneys lie at a slightly different angle in every person. You truly want to make sure that you're sagittal to the actual organ itself. The black slice is a midline sagittal slice. This is a center slice through that kidney. And this is gonna display the renal sinus at its largest point. So you're going to see a lot of the white tissue in the center of the kidney. This is the renal sinus. And you'll also see an outer rim of cortex around that renal sinus. And it's fairly even in size all the way around the kidney. The red slice is a lateral sagittal slice. And note, that little of the renal sinus is present now because this slice is lateral of the midline and it's almost all the way outside the sinus. So you may only see a hint of the sinus in the middle of a lateral sagittal kidney slice. The blue slice is a medial sagittal slice. Note that portions of the renal hilum are present within this medial slice of the kidney, and you can see that on the kidney diagram, the blue line, portions of that are running right 
through that hilum. And the hilum is the portion of the kidney where the renal artery, vein, and ureter enter and exit. So a true medial sagittal slice is going to have portions of that hilum displayed within that kidney. Now let's talk about the transverse plane, and we're back to our loaf of bread. Transverse slices through a loaf of bread are going to be slices that we traditionally think of when we're thinking of a loaf of bread. A transverse slice through a loaf of bread makes slices of bread, just like what we think of making a sandwich with. And for demonstration purposes, we're gonna say that this loaf of bread is lying vertically in the body. The black line is a mid transverse slice. And note that for this slice, the slice is at its largest size, cutting through the largest diameter of the loaf of bread. The red is a superior transverse slice. And note for this slice, the slice is cutting through a smaller diameter of the loaf of bread, so it's smaller in caliper. And the same with the blue slice. This is an inferior transverse slice. And this slice is also cutting through a section of the bread that's smaller than the middle. So it's going to be smaller in diameter. Now let's apply our transverse slices to the kidney itself. Note that these transverse slices through the right kidney are transverse to the kidney itself, not necessarily the body, because kidneys lie in a slightly different position within every person. The black line is a mid-transverse slice. And note that the renal hilum, this is where the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter enter and exit, and the renal sinus is present within this slice. And the kidney is shaped like a C, with the cortex looking like a C and the renal sinus being a hyperechoic center to that letter C. The red slice is a superior transverse slice. And note that this slice is taken near the top of the kidney, but low enough that the renal sinus is still slightly visible. Also note how the kidney is round to slightly oval in shape. Round is the ideal shape. If your slice is too oval in shape, then you're off axis and you're not transverse to the actual kidney itself. The blue slice is an inferior transverse slice. And note that this slice is taken near the bottom of the kidney, but high enough that the renal sinus is still slightly visible. And also note that this slice is also round to slightly oval in shape. Round is our ideal shape, but not always obtainable. But if your transverse slice is too oval in shape, then you're off axis and you're not transverse to the actual kidney itself. You may instead be transverse in the body, but not the kidney.